was how I look, but y'all, me and my best friend, we had went on a girl's trip to Miami. And you know, when you in Miami, you lit, you wild, you turnt. Don't nobody know you. I'm not from down there. So, of course, I'm lit. And so, y'all, I'm in the club, drunk as fuck. Me and my best friend, I met him in the club. Y'all know one thing led to another. It was like a one-night stand type stuff. We did not get each other's phone number. We both were sloppy drunk. And so, it was like two months I found out I was pregnant afterwards. And I didn't have no way to get in touch with him. So, how am I going to tell him he got a child? So, I figured if I come to TikTok, y'all would find him for me. And y'all did. And so, I tested him. And y'all, he replied. Let me show y'all what he said. Okay, y'all know I had tested him. I was like, hey, I know this may sound crazy, but you have a two-year-old son. He sent that. I sent him a picture. He just liked the picture, y'all. He didn't reply to nothing. He just liked the picture. So, I guess he didn't want to. Hello everyone, it's just a storyline and all I need is a few minutes. So you just heard that wild story about a girl's trip to Miami. So this is the reason why many men oppose to girls' trip to Miami because y'all be getting wild. I mean, y'all, y'all be doing some stuff that's not good. But anyway, so this young lady was telling a story about you know, going to Miami on a girl's trip and she ended up having a one night stand, which many people are doing, which is dangerous. But anyway, people are grown, they can do whatever they want. <sighs> so people are having one night stand and one night stand with no protection. I don't understand that. But anyway, so that's what she did. And this resulted in a, uh, a child and she probably couldn't get in contact with you. No, she couldn't get in contact with him. That's what she said. So she went to TikTok. Maybe she, he probably was asking questions about his dad. You know, was when other kids see other uh, people have a father and mother, they ask you questions. Maybe something happened that made, made her want to find him. And of course, TikTok, the TikTok detect detective. You want to find anything? Go on TikTok. They'll find, they'll find, they'll find whatever you're looking for. So they found this young man. Yes, even though she said that he. Um, she texted him and told him about it. And then he just liked the picture. He actually came to visit the young boy. So this kind of turned out in a sense, you know, we it's still early, but at least he's willing to be in his son's life. Sometimes it does not turn. This is like an exception. This, an ex this is what you call an exception to the rule. The majority rules with most of the time when you have a one night stand, the person is not really involved in the per and in the child's life. This is what you call an exception. Don't base your life on an on an exception. Don't go having one night stands. Go. Don't come in Miami. We full. We y'all be doing too much in Miami anyway. But don't base your don't be doing making decisions on on an exception. Oh, it worked out for her. It's gonna work. It may not work out for you. Okay, it worked out for her. for her. He wants to be involved in the child's life. Very stand-up young man because some people would have say deny, but then he couldn't deny the child because that child looked just like him. But anyway, some people will still do it. But please don't base your life and make decisions on an exception. You know, it worked out in a sense, worked out for her like he wants to be involved in the child's life. I don't know if they're going to be together. That's a whole other story. But at least he wants to be involved in his son's life which is very good because you know how they be talking bad but black fathers they don't want to be in the involved it's like all the black fathers no good but this young man is a stand-up young man hopefully everything works out for them but please you do not make don't you know go do whatever you want but don't be basing your your life decisions on an exception thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video bye